show is complete without similes that describe sequels to Kill a Mockingbird. No show is complete unless Maddox Barnett comes to the show from Akron and rocks those fresh styles. Um, chat to Max. He's been coming to show since he was like short, and he would hang up. He'd hang out with us on Warp Tour, and he's a super fan, and we love you so. Max, thanks for coming. Also, my friend Amanda Shiel is working the door, and Amanda pinch hitted for this band, Young London. They lost their merch guy. Long story. She flew in and finished the tour with us, and every time I come to Mahal, she always does a great job helping run the show. So, get up for Amanda. And I want to shout out my second brother, Charles. No. That'd be funny. Okay, no, but I don't have a second brother named Charles. That's sad, right? What is a second brother? We're all, we're all together, we're all family, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do a song right now about a book by Herman Melville. What did Herman Melville write? What famous book? Yeah, how'd you know that? You're smart. What's your name? Nolan. Yeah, for Nolan. Wait, does that say Space Jam or is it a play on the logo? Cleveland! Oh, come up here, come up here, come up here. Shirt of the night! You're showing me Cleveland. Where'd you find that? Where'd you find that? GBR. Yeah. Are you serious? Next year. Are you serious? It's like Space Jam, it says Cleveland. This time. Yo, you get a free CD for wearing that shirt. Did anyone come wearing shirts tonight? Shame for the Dark Lord. Sid Lars said you can have a free CD. <laughs> now, if you come to merch and uh, you tell me a story about why you wore the shirt you wore, you get a free CD. <laughs> I find drag is all mine. <laughs> no, it's mine. It's from mine. Okay, this, okay, Herman Melville, he wrote Ahab. He wrote, Ka he wrote Moby Dick. What's Moby Dick about? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Let's go. Let's go. Wesley. It's a search for John Will from Captain Ahab. How'd you know that? Do people call you? I, I just assumed you, like, I can call you Wesley, but it's Wes, right? It's Weston. I don't really go there. My mom called me Weston. I'm like, Mom, I'm not that. I'm Wes. So I'm not. <laughs> you know, for Wes, I gave him the wrong name, and he, he wasn't rude about it. So, Wes, is the whale in Moby Dick a metaphor for something possibly manifest destiny? Yes, it is. My man, Wes! You all get college credit for buying tickets to the show tonight? This, this song is called AM, and uh, I need you all to help me out to do the whale dance. We're going to put our hands together like this. We're going to go left, then right. We go left, then right. We go left, then right. We go left, because Maddox is tight. That's what's up. This song is called AM. Here we go. This song is from The Graduate. Call me Ahab, what? Monomaniac. Obsessed with the sister like Steve Wozniak. I'm the hunt for this memo. I'm the hunt for this memo. Then rise to my leg with my worn down crew and my man Queen Clay. You're never gonna find him. He's a big sperm whale. Well. The ocean is enormous. Shut up and steady sail. This scar that you see, there was down my face. Scarred my soul and inspired this chase. Mental sickness has got me on the run. Don't speak to half. This is American fun. There was wisdom that is low. So welcome to my life. It was fun to a movie. It's got me like a knife towards the I say that I'm hungry. Well, stab my spear into your white tail. All right, Mahals, let's get down. Here we go. That's what's up. You already won, you win two USPs. What friend are you going to give the second one to? Uh, are you serious? I'm going to start crying. You were at the last show, and you brought that book, that cooking book. That's awesome. Give it up for friendship and memories. How have you been? What's been new? Where'd you go? <laughs> What's better than Cleveland? Nothing. That's why you're back. Cleveland, Cleveland. Yo, come up with that shirt, come on, shirt. Cleveland, Cleveland. 